Everybody, welcome back. Falcon, RimWorld Alpha 6. You know the routine by this point. Let's get the game going on over here. Last episode, if you didn't watch it, I would encourage you to go watch that. We handled an amazing centipede attack really handily. We had three scythers and three centipedes, and we were able to actually hold them off just by using our wits for once, you know, moving people around, getting them into position, etc., etc. What I wanted to do today was actually to kind of make it a little bit easier on us is to um, actually get a little bit of a kill box happening out here because right now we're kind of out in the open so it makes it a little bit more difficult to maneuver around so what I'm thinking is we kind of seal this area off over here I'm thinking that as long as our turrets this goes down to here this covers all that and this covers just about that too huh so I'm thinking maybe a door roughly let's see structure we'll do like a colonist only door through right about here and then we'll do stone walls down through this side completely and then what do I want to incorporate out here do I want to get some of this in here or just that I don't think we really do need this huh so perhaps we could just kind of move it upwards to here at this point so we could do something like this oh, that's the wrong button uh, move it somewhere through maybe one extra one huh so we could go around this uh, rock formation and we'll do this and probably move this all the way to the end up here. Okay, that'll be our door and then the rest of it will kind of go down through here. And what I'm hoping this will do is that then all three turrets will be able to shoot at whatever kind of comes in through there. Now this kind of also works against us in a bit because this um, setup that we had over here kind of let me move people around certain cover and kind of take shots. So this will kind of uh, make that a little bit more difficult to do. But at the same time I think it will be pretty good. Then we could kind of mine this area out over here. Probably set up another turret of some kind. I don't think that turret would be able to reach that, but we could probably have some proper sandbags and stone walls between the turrets and then we could just kind of have our people line up over here and take shots as well along with the turrets and it'll probably make it a lot easier. So we'll do that and let's go ahead and probably mine out maybe up to here would probably work out. Yeah, let's mine this out as well and we'll set this up to be kind of built. Alright, I kind of like that. What do we have here? A group from Black? Yeah, whatever. You guys could go kind of fuck yourselves. I don't really care about that. Oh, we also have to equip all the stuff that we got here. So that's good to know. Batman, before you start building stuff, you're eating from Package Survival Meal. What I hate about the Package Survival Meal is that it seems to take precedence over everything else, so they come all the way out here to eat that. When it seems kind of silly to me, like, I'm not sure why I don't ever haul this off. Like, can you haul? You can haul. Do me a favor, haul that stuff instead. Data Error, what are you doing? You're gonna go sleep. Before you do that, can you just haul some of this food as well? Because it seems like a hassle when they have to come all the way out here to just to eat some food. I don't understand why. Raccoon, what are you doing? You're going to also eat from the package meal. No, let's have you instead haul some of this package meal instead. So you got some of that. What do we have here? Stevens. Oh, we got Belcord. So we're going to have another person to rename really soon. Oh, a sweet mohawk, my friend. What do you have? A brocade vest? T-shirt? Okay. Um, How are you as a fighter? Oh, you're a really good fighter. Good, good. I remember you. You were the good fighter. So, let me have you grab this M1 helmet. The fuck is this? Oh, dude, that's the, um, that's the uh, Bane mask. I remember that. So, you grab that, and can you also grab yourself a code? I think you can. So, grab this duster over here. There you go. Good job. Good job. Alrighty, so we got that under control now. Now, Mighty Platypus, and we have some... Yeah, haul that food out of here just because I'm getting tired of people coming all the way here to fucking eat. So there you go, that should be the last of that. Batman, where are you going? You know, haul some stone to make the blueprint? That'd be fine, but can you just actually haul the Uzi while you're up here? And you, um, Jersey Paragon, before you go mine, you go and haul this as well. We could definitely use these weapons in our base to kind of get, um, some of our lesser equipped people up and running. Okay. So we got that going on. Excellent. So we're going to have this built, mine this out a little bit over here. Now... We could also turn off the light over here. We don't need that anymore. Our turrets don't have to be online right now. I always forget to turn those off, so let's turn them off now. Now, Jersey Paragon, you are Mr. Shotgunner. And you're normally really good at this stuff, so I should probably try to think about giving you something better. Maybe even, dare I say, to power armor, just because you are pretty good with that shotgun. So better defenses would probably be better for you. I don't think we have any hats, though, huh? Yeah. So we can, well you could wear a shirt though, right? You already have a shirt though, alright, excellent. So you, my friend, go back and grab your shotgun. It should be somewhere here, right? Where's my shotgun at? 
Is it still outside? Oh, it totally is. Alrighty. Um, you go in. Oh, where's my shotgun at? It's quite a predicament. Where's the fucking shotgun at? <clears throat> Am I tripping balls here? Is it here? Is somebody hauling it right now? I'm not sure what the hell the problem is. Where's my shotgun at? Okay, let's give it a second here. I'm not sure what the fuck's happening. Now, Belcourt is the guy we just got right now, right? And we already have him equipped. Good. Jersey Paragon, he's got the power armor. I would love to get you your shotgun back. However, apparently that's going to be MIA now, really? Hmm. Maybe I'm just missing it. Where were you when you got knocked down? That's a minigun. I mean, we want the minigun as well, but the shotgun's been doing some pretty good job for us, especially up close. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. It's probably right in front of me and people are like yelling at the screen like, Falcon is right there, how can you fucking miss it? But I am missing it, so I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to kind of go on right now. Really? That's really funny that I can't really see that, but okay. Danny, what are you doing over here? That's not your room. I thought you already had your own room. Yeah, there's an unknown room over there. Danny, this is for medical purposes only. Go sleep in your own room, my friend. Uh, Danny's not a fighter, so I'm not gonna necessarily equip him with crazy stuff right now. But again, he could also be useful on the fly, so I'm gonna have him keep something on, but not a lot of stuff on. Now, JSDH, you're also not the greatest fighter. Actually, you're a shooting six. That's not too bad. What's your gear like? Alright, trousers. Let's give you an armor vest. And that's about it. I don't think there's an extra coat for you. What is this supposed to be? Oh, another vest. Okay. Yeah, because I don't think you could wear that and that. Oh, you can. Wait a minute. You can put the armor vest and the poncho on. So the poncho works as a coat, maybe. I mean, it makes sense to me, but... Alrighty. I really need to understand the, the proper equipment procedures here. So, Jersey Paragon, you still are weaponless. I'll try to get you something soon. You have the brocade vest. Um, Steven, so yeah, that's good with you. Um, ponchos and trousers. Uh, ba, 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 ba. There's a mask over here. You know what would be pretty good for? I'm going to say it's going to be pretty good for my shotgunner. Jersey Paragon, right? So, Jersey, you also come and grab yourself a Bane mask. Alright, there he goes. Look at this guy. Well, perhaps he was wondering why he would shoot a man before throwing him off of a plane. Again, terrible Bane impression. I know, but I'm trying. Alrighty, so we got that under control. Belcourt's done. Johnny West is also one of our good fighters as a Marine. He's got some good stuff on already, so I don't think I have to worry too much about him. But I thought there was an extra gas mask over here. I guess it was moved, huh? It was probably moved. Okay, that's fine too. R4 charge rifle. Alrighty, Johnny, the R4 is better than the M16, so you come and equip that. Okay. Green Eagle, you have an R4 as well. How's your equipment like, though? Yeah, you got pretty much the basics. Belcourt has no weapon. Dude, where is the shotgun at? I'm, I mean, I'm just really concerned about that right now. Hmm. Alright, well, you guys complete... You know that, and then we'll hopefully haul off the rest of the stuff that's around the map, because I'm not sure where the fuck that would be at right now. The other thing we need to do is that probably burn these bodies now. I think it's about time that we do that. Okay. Colonists are leaving, or the visitors, or quote-unquote visitors. Not really visitors, they're not really welcome, but they still show up. There was a few roofs falling down, but luckily nothing did come and attack us. TRC Danny, what's your problem? Uh, observe rotting corpse. Okay, well... What, does it want out here? Is that really bothering you that much? Oh wow, silver. I'm not even sure when that landed. Oh, it just landed right now. Okay. Dead Iwana, let's haul that off too. Okay. Where are you guys going? Like, you seem to be, like, on quite a fucking mission out here. Let's get these scarabs hauled off as well for some meat. What did you do? Hauling wood. Okay. I guess you're just still kind of hauling around. Hmm. Oh, is this almost built? Just about. Door's almost done. Get the rest of this perimeter done. Now, the other thing we should probably be doing is also setting up the proper defense for our people. So let's do a stone wall, like, roughly over here, I want to say. Then we'll do some sandbags. So let's do stone wall, sandbag, sandbag, stone wall, sandbag, sandbag, stone wall. Sandbag, sandbag, stone wall. Okay, that works out. Sandbags through there, there, and there. And we'll probably do some over here, too. I think we could afford to do that. 
So we'll do a stone wall here. And sandbag, sandbag, stone wall. Get some snipers on this side too, so we can do that. Set up where is my sandbag section. Boom. And boom. Okay. It's gonna be just to give us a little bit of extra defense so we can kind of set up some proper defenses out here and have more than just the turrets doing the job for us. And we also got Duarte. So Duarte is now part of the colony as well. Duarte, let me find out about your thing. You have a brocade vest, you could use like a coat of some kind and a hat. Alrighty, character, melee 15, shooting 5. Not bad. Pretty good melee, however, you don't really melee too often. So for now, I'm thinking you grab yourself the uh, armor vest. All of our weapons seem to be getting hauled off now, but I can't find that shotgun. What the fuck happened to that shotgun? Am I just not seeing it? I mean, it's really interesting. Oh, you know what? The shotgun, I remember I had somebody else pick it up on the fly. That's what happened to the shotgun. It's just not supposed to be there. All right, Duarte, you are shooting at five, so that's not too bad. Grab yourself a M16 for now. Danny, you're good with what you have there. Okay, and we have some visitors again. Fuck, so many visitors. Now, let me find out. Make sure everything is fine here. So, character shooting six. You could definitely upgrade from this pistol now, and you have some relatively decent equipment. So, JSD, let me have you come over here and... Maybe even work on the Uzi. That wouldn't be such a bad weapon just because it has a lot of spray potential. Platypus has a shotgun now. So Platypus, let me have you drop that shotgun because I want to give that to the dude with a lot of armor. How are you as a shot though? Five. Okay. So you're not the greatest shot, but I think maybe... Sure, let's have you grab that. Okay. Batman is set up with his M24. Data Air needs a minigun. He's the one who got knocked out from the minigun the first time around. Do you have power armor? If you don't, I'll probably give you some power. You don't. Okay, so you grab power armor, and you'll grab the other minigun as well. Because that's what initially I had you doing. So, you're good to go. You have the Uzi now. Platypus uh, got the light machine gun. Alrighty. Now, Platypus, do you need armor vest? No. JSD Edge, you don't need armor vest either. You got the Uzi. Data area, you're coming around right now to pick up that power armor. Nice. And let's go and grab you the minigun. Now that we have the shotgun back in our mist, uh, we need... Who is it? B -b -b Jersey Paragon. Paragon, you come over here and grab the old shoddy. Excellent. Alrighty. So that's looking a lot better. How's her thing coming out of your building? Relatively fine. So is that everybody M24? You have the M24, so you're fine on that. I just want to make sure that everybody's properly equipped, because I don't want to get stuck in a raid with not, you know, proper equipment and shit like that. Jersey Paragon, you're set. JSDH, you're set. Johnny West, you're good. Data Era, you're fine. God Six, you got the minigun, so you're fine. Green Eagle's got an R24, M24, whatever it is. Perinus, you're not a really good fighter. But I guess I'll just have you hold on to that pistol. Little Vespers has a Leon Field. Raccoon has a Leon Field. You have that. Belcor doesn't have a weapon. Belcord's a good fighter, right? Extremely so. So Belcord, you come over here and grab yourself this R4. And now I'm feeling relatively good about our ordeal. We have a pretty good defense set up over here. And you have a brocade vest. Okay. So he's fine. So I'm happy with this. Now, let's turn the lights off over here. This is almost about to be done built. Hopefully it's get done soon because I really would like to get that up and running. And we got some more people, so let's actually give a few of these um, things away. So ones, ones, we'll turn this into a one. It's into a one. Warden. Band is not bad, that bad of a warden. So we'll probably put you into warden work. Stephen P, a one. Data error. You know, Stephen P does a lot of stuff, so let me remove him from warden work for now. Hunting, they're pr both good hunters, but I'm going to turn that off for now. Cleaning, hmm, and hauling, okay. So let's do not really good workers. So maybe you could help us out with some mining on occasion. Same with you. You're not cooks or anything, huh? No. Plant cutting, we're not doing that right now. Plus we're going to have our own field growing of uh, trees real soon, so we won't have to kind of go out there and cut so much, so... That's fine. Crafting. Not really good crafters. Fuck art forever. I guess we'll make you some haulers as well. That doesn't hurt. And maybe a little cleaning for you on the side. Alright, that's fine. So that works out for me. 
Now, in terms of crafting, we have how many metal bars? Oh, we have enough metal bars now, I think, to make a few weapons. So I don't think we need to keep doing that anymore right now. So let's actually suspend this um, bill. Smelt metal. So we're going to suspend this. And then what do we have here? Construct M16. This is to disassemble mechanoids, but we have no room for the mechanoids right now. Let's make this part mechanoid as well. So we'll do mechanoid corpse right there. That's fine. Get those hauled off from over there. Stone cutters table. How's our stone cutting coming along? Still pretty good. Okay. There's a limit on the stone blocks for some reason. To 1760? Huh. Interesting. Um, let's actually do that forever since we have the stone around. Might as well keep working on that. Okay. So that's fine. Food is up to a thousand. That's perfectly fine. Our meals are up to 18. That's good. It's going to continue that way. Alrighty. So I'm looking at our things over here and I'm liking what I'm seeing. So that's how can, that's, uh, been taken care of. We'll turn this off. We just need to finish off, um, our constructing this over here and also finishing up the outer wall. And once we do that, we'll be fine. The mechanism is going to be picked up now. I'm going to assume that most of the weapons out here has also been picked up, so not too much to worry about that. The other thing we need to worry about, though, is actually... What do we have here? An herbal entrepreneur. It's passing out, whatever. Fuck those guys. Alrighty, we're going to also have to seal this up. And I'm going to do this because when it explodes, I don't want it to take down everything aside from it, you know? So we'll do that. We'll do this, and... Set this up like that, and like this. This is I'm only doing this as a precaution so that when they do blow up, they don't really cause too much uh, damage around. Okay, and we could definitely use probably a few more of those bad boys, but you know, one step at a time. I want to get this outside area done first. I think that's going to be like our main priority right now. Good, good, good. Need graves. This needs a grave. Hmm. Okay, um, let's put corpses, um, animal corpses as well. Hmm, mm-hmm. See, I'm not sure, okay, for the rotting dead animals, Mega Scarab, Mega Scarab, we'll see if it gets hauled off, I'm not a solar flare, okay, that's gonna be troublesome, but not that big of a deal. Dead iguana, okay. Now, I'm not sure that's going to be have like have that much of a negative impact on us since it's out here. I would like to get it just hauled off to be taken care of. Like, cannot haul corpse, no empty place configured to store it. So what if I turn this on right now really quickly and I do cremate corpses? I'll do... Muffalo corpses. Yeah, sure. Take the corpses here as well. Maybe that'll have it uh, do its job. Although, this is going to be off right now because of the solar flare, right? Hmm. We have an exhaustion going on with Duarte. Yeah, you can get some rest if, my friend. Oh, you need beds, though. Shit. Forgot about the fact that we recruited people, so we do need extra beds. Um, For now, let's just take over this as a regular bed. For whoever does need it. And then we're going to actually have to mine out a few extra rooms over here. Because we are getting more people now, so we have to take that into consideration. So we'll do that. Have an opening right there. And probably mine this out through here. All right. And then, structure. We have another note there. We'll check that out really soon. Let's close this off. Close this off. Close this off. And we'll do through there and through there. And power door here and here. Okay. What do we have here? Another? Oh, joining. Oh, sweet. Um, Big Red. Hey, how you doing, Big Red? Nice throw you got going on there, my friend. Character. Constructor. Researcher. Now growing. Ah, oh, physically sensitive and a psychopath. <laughs> what kind of person are we attracting to this colony? Shooting four of those, so that's going to be too great. What kind of gear do you have on? Just a t-shirt, huh? Okay, let me get you equipped here really quickly. Oh, dude, brocade vest looks pretty sweet. Let me get you an armor vest since we have extra ones anyway. And let's also grab you the old... Uh... No, that's going to replace that, huh? So grab the poncho and grab the armor vest. And as a weapon... A pistol isn't that great. We have a light machine gun. You know what? Grab this incinerary launcher. See if we can make something happen out of that. I doubt it, but we'll see. Alrighty. And we might as well give this individual a few tasks, too. So, we'll, what the fuck just happened there? Turn this into a one. Turn this into a one. 
You're not a bad warden. Constructor, that's what we kind of need right now. So we'll do one and one in that. Turn research off. Hauling like a two. Not a bad crafter, honestly, either. But we don't need that right now. So I'll keep that in mind. He's a decent crafter and turn this off. Alrighty. There you go. So the moment we get these rooms set up, we'll probably be able to move these guys out and get our medical bay back up and running. Alrighty, so the moment this is done... Oh, the outside perimeter is done. Excellent, I feel really good about that now. What do we have here? Navy scientists visiting the colony. I could care less. Need a grave. Okay, these things are still not being hauled. Why is that? Can I just not burn them, or...? Dumping stockpile, let's see here. Allow buried corpses, corpses, humanoid corpses. Allow rotten? I mean, it's allow rotten, too. I'm not sure what the problem with that is. Johnny West, can you... No empty space configured to store it. I honestly don't know what that means. Like, uh... It's not mechanoid corpses, animal corpses, right? Hmm, unless it's telling me, like, alright, what if I do a Wanda Corpse over here for now and Mega Scarab? Can you do it now? Okay, now it's being hauled. Okay, gotcha, got. You. So as long as it's rotting, we can put it there, and then those could be burned off. But then the other ones are the ones that we kind of want to actually butcher whenever we do get the chance to actually butcher stuff. So there, that's being moved around now, good. I should probably alleviate some sort of issues here. Not that there's many issues with that, but whatever. Is Seraph set up for recruitment? I'm surprised she's been there for a while, and considering the recruitment level is only 30, we should have probably recruited that person by for a long time by now, but okay. Now, there's a scarab inside of her base. We might as well just hunt this dude down and get an extra meat for it. You brought it on yourself, buddy. Nobody told you to come in here. Alright, and that's actually already set up as well. Good. Good, good, good. So we have a pretty... Uh oh. I just realized the follies of my ways here. We need to create no roof region on this guy. And on this guy. Good. Mental break soon. Batman. Oh! <gasps> Batman! What are you doing there? Oh, shit. Uh. Can you mind, Batman? Yeah, you need to mind yourself out of there, my friend. Holy shit. Batman, go, go, do whatever you have to do. Alright, he's fine now. <laughs> Oh, God. Nothing like having a Batman stuck in a wall to kind of finish this episode off, huh? It's really good. Nikon on his bed? Oh, we got Sarah finally. So, there's a lot of people for me to rename after this episode, so I'm actually pretty happy about that. Seraph, you need some stuff. How are you as a fighter? You're a good fighter, actually. Really good fighter. And I'm thinking that's fine because we actually have an R4 over here. So, you grab that, and we'll grab you an armor vest. And do I have a coat for you? I do. Nice. Nice. Nikon on his bets, though. Okay, that's gonna be a problem. So, for now, let's just put up a few sleeping sp- actually, turn this into a non-medical bay. This is actually set up already for rooms, so let's actually draw a mining spot through here. And how's our wood? Enough for a few bets, but we're almost about to run out, so we need to take care of that really soon. Let's do that and haul off these rocks from in here. And then we'll do... Power door through there. Our metal's starting to get a little bit low, but there's still a lot of stuff that we can mine out in this, this, in this area altogether to get some more. So I'm not too worried about it, but something we definitely have to look forward to. And then we also have an eclipse. Alrighty, guys, so let's call an episode here. Not much happened, but we got a lot of important stuff that needed to happen, which was like getting a perimeter out here set up. And we have a few defenses for this. We actually sealed up the mortar so they do blow up. They don't really cause a chain reaction with one another. So that's all good. I think next episode we can start focusing on making some more extra rooms because we're hiring, we're not hiring, but acquiring more people. And then maybe we can actually set up the inside kill room, which I wanted to do. But overall, we're looking really good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. I know it was kind of slow, but we needed that to kind of recover. I'll catch you guys next time.